Greetings to all of you who are watching this. Eddie's, we haven't started yet. We're going to be staying a few seconds, but before we begin, I want to briefly explain that this ritual is a hybrid. It's got a little bit of Christianity, it's got a little bit of pagan in it, but the most important thing is, is that this ritual is a one of a kind and will never be repeated again after tonight. At least not by me. Now, I wanted to take the time prior to the joining of the ritual to explain to you what's going to happen. First of all, we can't start the ritual before 7. It's a few minutes prior to before 7. We've got about 8 minutes. Preparations can start before 7, but the actual crowning cannot begin or cannot commence until after 7. So therefore, I wanted to first of all take this time to explain that there will be a channeling tonight as well. The channeling being Mother Asna will be the one who will be doing the ceremony. Well, here's the catch. There's only one body. Well, yeah, but there's two spirits. Right, me and Lumi. And we're both here. And so tonight, you're going to see something that is one of a kind, amazing, and quite Christian in origin, it is actually probably the most acumenical ceremony that you will ever experience. It does not make fun of Christians, it doesn't make fun of Muslims, it doesn't make fun of pagans. In fact, it takes the teachings of both the Christian church and pagan communities and puts them into a single order. Because we are all from the God and the Goddess and from which all we shall return. And for that reason, this ceremony, as you will see, is indeed a very sacred ceremony and should be respected. Now, briefly, let me show you what we got for accoutrements. Because uh, you probably notice that this looks like a typical Wiccan altar. And you're right, it is. Okay? Now, the, the, the bell sound you heard, I didn't have a bell. I happen to be in my kitchen. I'll set up a circle of house for a moment, by the way. It's a pot. And it turned out that when you use a knife, you get a nice sound. Use the back knife, too. Okay. And that's how we call the, the spirits in. To get their attention, to let them know that something special is going to be commencing. Around the altar here, we have the four... Quarters. These are the four candles. Okay, we have Mother Asna's candle, which is green. The Morning Spirit candle, which is yellow, which is also the spirit of air. Spirit of fire, which is for the Yahweh spirit, is here. That's red. And of course, the spirit of water is blue. I didn't have a scent incense burner, so we're using a scented candle. Um, no, we only use these, I only use this one for ceremony, so this one is indeed used as in a sense. Now, in the traditional, look, we'll take the go. In the traditional Wiccan ceremony, usually the whole circle, it would accompany the whole area outside of this altar area. Unfortunately, there's a couch here. It's where I do my, my, my uh, programs. And of course we have the Christmas tree here. And of course we have the uh, training room over there. So therefore to leave these candles strewn all over the place, it's like asking for fire. We don't want a fire. But rather, for that reason, we're going to bring, we're going to light the candles and walk outward where we're setting a perimeter when we set the watch and the quarters. And that is the only reason why, and then we bring it back here so we can keep them on the table. Next thing is the pentacle itself. Traditionally, these are made of paper. Just when I drew this on the computer, so therefore it is indeed a real pentacle. And you'll notice, if you will, that the central point here, representing spirit, is pointing north towards Mother Asna. Now, Typically, a witch working a ritual like this would be facing north, i.e. towards you, the camera there. And in addition, 
there's a few other things on the table. And I was showing them, these are regular household kitchen um, utensils. The first thing is this knife. This knife here, I've had, this is my fame. I've had this for many, many years. This is a, yes, it is now, indeed, been sick. It is been charged with sacred energy. It is actually a regular vegetable knife. Uh, physically can't cut much. As dull as it can get. This is, uh, I've had this since Carrie Hill. Um, it's an excellent throwing knife. You can actually throw this and it will land quite true to where you're going. One of the most important thing tools in the Wiccan ceremony is it's got to be comfortable to your hand. If a knife doesn't feel good, or if it's just a cheap Chinese knockoff that has not has no special value to you, then it ain't gonna cut it. Okay? Now, we have the candle in the center. This candle represents, in this case, the blessings candle, of which we have our blessing of the coronation candle. And I will explain that one as we go through the ceremony. We have the cup of water, this is one of the elementals. Unfortunately, it's cold, and, uh, and I haven't had a chance to get outside to pick up some actual dirt. We can use salt in substitution, which we are doing. We use some salt here. A incendiary device. There is a lighter. And we use to light the quarter candles. And these, as I said, none of this stuff has been charged yet. This certainly has been. This, these two pieces, because me and Lemmy share the same flesh, um, we got a problem. These will be the circlets. Again, these are originally custom jewelry. I modified them so that you can wear them around the head as circlets to replace because I don't have an extra phone. This is actually not a glass crystal. This one is made out of stone and polished stone pieces. So this here is definitely is an um, earth-like material. Yes, it's it's black stone, it's gray stone in it, but that doesn't mean nothing. The important thing here is is that these two, we're not going to be using both in the ceremony tonight, but we're going to be using this piece, especially will be used. Well, this one will be used um, we will be blessed tonight, but it won't be necessarily used. It'll just be uh, kind of like a spear. Well, actually, it will be used in the spring um, for Ostra. Um, after Ostra. But lastly, the most important thing is, is for those of you who are watching this from your home, is because of YouTube's policies regarding singing, uh, or at least regarding playing recorded music. I'd love to play some music for the entrance. That we know the policies. And so therefore, there will not be no music on this. Spirits of the morning, spirits of the new day, spirits of the new arrival and the new futures, spirits of, of revival and renewal, we give you thanks and praise, and we invite you to join us. Hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. of inspiration, power, and majesty. To you, we welcome you. We ask you to join us. Hail and welcome. Hail and welcome.
spirits of the water of renewal and relaxation spirits of the future and the night repose we say hail and welcome hail and welcome Unfortunately, so many ladies in this test, I was working very well. There you go. And of course, spirits of the north, spirits of all that is green and all new light that springs from among the earth, to Mother Asna and to all of her support, her principalities, and of Yahweh and the thrones of Mother Asna to the new renewal, to the future, to the great gifts that have been bestowed upon us all, we say to you, hail and welcome, hail and welcome. Almighty God, Father Yahweh, Mother Asna, we give you thanks and praise for being here at this most blessed ceremony, and we ask you to again grace us with your presence. We say hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. Today, we light the candle of a new era, a new age, a new peace, a new future of peace and love and tranquility to all life. We thank you, O Mother Asna, for the gift that you bestowed upon us, of which this celebration we do tonight. Again, hail and thank you. Hail and thank you. The sacred of fame, the knife that carries the sacred power, the pentacle that carries the sacred symbol of the religious faith of earth, fire, water, spirit. We thank you all, great ones, for the gifts that you have bestowed upon us. Cleanse the salt and make it as white as the snow of the earth. May all impurities be removed from thee. May this salt be pure and white and clean of all impurities. To the water, we remove the impurities that make you imperfect. We cleanse you with the pure Holy Spirit of Mother Asna and Father Yahweh. And may this be clear, pure, and with no blemish. And of course, I cast out the pentacle as a sign of the blessed five elements of earth, air, fire, and water, and of course the spirit of Mother God and Father God, Mother Asna and Father Yahweh. For tonight, all of you will be present for the greatest, unique, and one-of-a-kind ceremony to which all are welcome to attend.
As we were taught by you, Almighty Father Yahweh, through your Son Jesus in Nazareth, we give you the prayer that he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread, and forgive us your trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. But lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from you. Amen. Mother Asna, we ask you to join us today, as we have already agreed that you will be a vessel of the ceremony. Come into us and to help us along as we prepare for this most sacred gift. I accept your request. May I use your body for this purpose. You may use my body for this purpose. Lomi Fenestra, may I use yours part of your body for this purpose. You may. So be it. Today we're going to be here to celebrate the most gracious and most unique thing that Michelle Marie Delaney and Lumi Finistra, the only adult known two soul people in the world, one of the four adults, only hermaphrodite of the, of the existing adult four, is going to be here anointed as the new North American Snow Queen. Well, Michelle will be indeed the Snow Queen. Lumi Finistra is her liege and will remain with her as her spouse, as it is written. But today, we are here to pass the great gift of the New Age upon Michelle and Lumi Finistra. For anyone who wants to think of what this would mean, should understand that during this ceremony of Yule, anything that you wish can come true. For this is a sacred night. But tonight is the most sacred of all. For Michelle is going to have her wife's wish of being the North American Snow Queen. The first title that has ever been bestowed upon anyone. For there has never been a North American Snow Queen. There has been a European Snow Queen. But never has there been a North American Snow Queen. And the last North European Snow Queen wasn't until about 200 years ago, which Lumi Finistra was part of that tradition. But tonight, the show now commence by blessing the crown that Michelle will be wearing. But before we do, let me just assure you that there is a new age coming an age of great change, an age where many people will find themselves in questioning of who they are or why they're here. But please do not be fearful, for the things that we are about to see in the world coming are not an age of doom and gloom, but rather an age of reawakening and re revival. We are here to see the future. We're part of the New Age, as prescribed by the Mayans, Yiching, in Nostradamus. Peace be. Peace be. The crystal circlet will be worn by Michelle for most ceremonies after this point. It means purity and ice of which the title she will now have as her office. Let's it be. So be. I'm going to go and move the candle here, do you? No. Just don't want to burn your body. <laughs> okay, good point. We sprinkle this with the earth and consecrate it. For this 
will be sacred in the eyes of gods Palayare and Mother Asna. And may this be sprinkled by the power of water so that all things may be cleansed of impurities. It may be cured by incense. May the incense smoke purify this piece so that it will be made worthy for the crown. And by fire, we quench this in the element of fire to, to give it the spiritual strength of all elementals. And to the black one, which is actually belongs to Lumi Finistra, we do the same act. Blessed thee by thy earth. And blessed be thy by the element of water. Blessed by the element of air. And blessed by the element of fire. And of course, blessed is by the element of spirit, by which I have bestowed on both of these units, that they will be forever enchanted, and the forces of which they have been gained will be used for the purpose of righteousness. Michelle and Lemmy Fenestra. Unfortunately, because I'm using your flesh, this gets tricky. I can't necessarily separate myself from you for this purpose, but you will need to do the two roles together with my help. Okay. Please kneel or sit. To you, Michelle Marie Delaney. Take the oath of office of Snow Queen to be serious and forever and ever realizing that you will always need to be served and do good for mankind and for the powers to be. And do you promise to do what is right and just in the eyes of Father Yahweh and Mother Asna? I do. And let me finish her. Do you accept Michelle Marie Galani as your liege and also as her chaste spouse. In addition to that, do you accept the fact that she is indeed the North American Snow Queen and that you will help her in her day-by-day -day work? So help you God and the Goddess, now and forever. I do. Then I bestow upon both of you the sacred gifts of the two circlets. Unfortunately, there is one head, and there isn't two. Otherwise, we would wear them separately. But for this ceremony, we'll put them on simultaneously. We'll start with Louise. Fear ye will, Lumi Fenestra. And may you grow in strength and vitality. Thank you. And Michelle? You do understand that this is for life and beyond life. And which you cannot rescind this world once you put this on your cranial, Logan. I do, Mother, and I so be it. Then this shall be rice. Today, we celebrate the new North American Snow Queen and her leech. And for today, 
and for now until the end of time, will remember that this person will work her weather with magic from this Yule until Ostura, for now until the end of the time. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And for all of you who have watched this ceremony, please join us as we prepare to close the ceremonial circle. Michelle, I think this is time for you to take over. Yes, Mother. I beat you leave. Thank you. Today is, like Mother said, this is <laughs> the first kind of um, ever of a ceremony of this type. Now, this is definitely going to be some people on YouTube and you stream are probably going to look at the ceremony and watching it and go, wow, that's okay. Maybe we should just get ready to break it down for now so the people can go ahead and watch this and contemplate on the mysteries that have been bestowed. It's a good idea. For it is done. We will now go through again clockwise, because we are on the northern hemisphere, and break the circle down in the order of which we started it. Mother Rasna, to you we give you thanks and praise. Hail the Holy Queen, and to which we also say, Fare thee well. And thank you for your presence in the ceremony. Fairly well. Fairly well. To the spirits of the morning, which all of you are part, the sunrise and the new day, we say, Fairly well. Fairly well. And to you, Father Yahweh, for which to you we give thanks for the day and the strength and your quiet dedication to keeping the universe running. We give you thanks as we say, fare thee well, fare thee well. And to you, to the spirits of the West, for the night and the peace and the repose that comes with it. We give you thanks and praise as we say, fare thee well, fare thee well. And of course, to the candle that burns on the altar, the two, actually, remaining candles, the ones that are going to be, the one that burns with the spirit of the new future, the new hope, the new future, and all the new things that are coming with it, and of course, the new role. As a North American snow cream. I say thank you for watching this and that even though I extinguish this candle, that the eternal flame of the future will burn brightly.